In the heart of the ancient Mali Empire, centuries before telescopes or European astronomy, lived a renowned black astronomer named Kanku. Her home was a modest clay dwelling on the edge of the bustling city of Timbuktu, a place famed for its scholars and storytellers. Kanku was fascinated by the night sky and would spend hours each evening observing the stars, her keen eyes mapping their patterns and movements. With nothing but clay tablets and a sharp stick, she meticulously recorded her celestial discoveries, creating detailed star charts that would later be referenced by students and travelers alike. Kanku believed that the heavens held messages for those who knew how to read them. She noticed the rhythmic dance of certain stars and the way the moon's phases coincided with the floods of the Niger River. Her knowledge was sought out by farmers, who relied on her predictions for planting and harvesting, and by travelers, who used her star maps to navigate the vast Sahara. Kanku became revered, not only as a scientist but also as a wise woman whose understanding of the cosmos brought prosperity to her people. One evening, while studying a cluster of stars near the horizon, Kanku made a remarkable discovery. She realized that some stars appeared to shift their positions over many years, a phenomenon later known as proper motion. This insight, recorded on her clay tablets, would not be formally recognized in Europe until centuries later. Yet, in Mali, her findings influenced generations, inspiring young scholars to look skyward and continue the tradition of celestial observation. Although her name is seldom mentioned in modern textbooks, Kanku's legacy lives on in the oral histories of Mali. Her star maps, etched into clay, were passed down through families and scholars, a testament to her brilliance and curiosity. Kanku's story reminds us that the quest to understand the universe is a universal human endeavor, and that the wisdom of black African scientists has long illuminated the path for others to follow.